<clears throat> Hello, everybody. I go to my um, mail for Gmail this morning, and I noticed Zoll has left two more videos to me. Two more. Now, I thought I was trying to uh, not attack Zoll so much, not uh, get, because I mean he asked me personally not to, but it just seems like he is is really. He likes to respond to my videos, and that's fine. I mean, I appreciate him responding to my videos. I'm glad it keeps the debate going. It keeps conversation going, you know, but I get tired of people coming to me and saying, stop making videos about me like this, and then they, you know, whatever. So, but, but you know, to give Zoll credit, he hasn't said a word to me about making videos about him lately. So, I may be just jumping the gun. He might not say a word to me for, for this video um, because he has been pretty pretty sporting about stuff like that here recently um, but the main reason for this video is to explain to some of you guys about Google uh, they're you're trying to compare Google to Apple and it's not gonna work because Apple is not massing mass amounts of information on everybody and selling it to advertisers Apple is not stretching out tentacles into every area that it can, it can possibly get involved in and offering services for free and disrupt the economy around that service just because they can make money on ad revenues, whether it's free or not. Yeah, let's make a free service. We'll just sell ads. You know, Apple is not doing that and does not have a world view and is not the same thing. Apple has their music. They have, they've come out with the iPhone three years ago and it has gotten to where it's gotten on its own merits. It was... It was an original, one-off thing, and nothing was like it, and nothing has been like it since, except the knockoffs that are out there. So the iPhone was an original piece of technology, and it got to where it is on its own merits, because it was a good platform and an easy-to-use device. It didn't get to where it was at by monopolizing the industry, by making shady deals with other manufacturers behind closed doors like Intel does, Apple and Google have two totally separate ways of practicing business. They might have the same business model. It's kind of about what works and what don't, but I think their motives are completely different. Of course, in the end, it's all about making money, but I feel like Google is more scandalous about how they make their money. I just don't trust Google. I'm sorry. For some reason, I just don't trust Google. So let's, Zoll made a quick two-minute video, so let's respond to some of the things he has to say. Okay, so recently I've been seeing a lot of comments on YouTube, especially on Apple Soldiers Emix videos, um, where these people are like, oh, Google's taking over, they're, they're taking over the universe, they're destroying everything. Yeah, I use their services. I use, you know, Gmail, I use... You know what, if you don't want to use their services, here's an idea. Don't use them. Oh, you see, that's the first thing I want to talk about. That is the most pathetic excuse of blaming what Google's doing on me that I've ever heard in my life. You're blaming me and the consumer for the amounts of information Google is massing on everybody, for the, for the ecosystems that Google is joining in and disrupting. You're blaming all that on me. See, that's, this is what I don't understand. Yes, I do use Gmail. I use AdSense and I use PayPal. But do I have a choice? I mean... Really, I mean, I make money off my YouTube videos. Do I have a choice but to use Google stuff? I mean, I have to use AdSense. I have no choice in the matter. If I want to make money and continue making the money that I'm used to making off this, I have to use AdSense. So, well, you can go ahead and say, well, just close your account and don't make no money. Well, that's easy for you to say, ain't it, buddy? This is to the point to where I'm telling you, I have to. If I want to continue to make money, Google's got it set up to where I have to to deal with them to tell to say something as ignorant as if you don't like what Google's doing just don't use the service that is that is really just ignorant that's like me saying if you don't like Microsoft just don't use them but it's damn near impossible not to use Microsoft stuff if you're in school or you have a job I mean somewhere along the line you're gonna have to use Google I mean even if you don't use Google search did you read did you listen to the video even if you don't use Google search 
and you don't use AdSense, there's a 35 to 50 percent chance Google has got your information anyway through means of advertisers and other other ways of doing it. So just not using them is not an alternative, Zoll. I don't have no choice. Sure, I could try to boycott Google. I could try to boycott Google, close down my YouTube accounts, close down all my Gmail accounts, you know. I would gladly, I, I do have other Gmail accounts, and I use them, you know. And, and Gmail is one of the easier things to walk away from. But there's other things that Google does that's not so easy to walk away from. You can't just say, well, I'm not going to use them anymore. Because it's not that easy, Zoll. Especially when it comes to search and things you don't even know is going on that like Google it knows you're there. So it's not, even if you don't use Google at all, they're still going to get information on you. And that's the problem. If you're afraid of them taking over, then don't let them take over. What am I supposed to do? This is my medium. Video is my medium. I could post my videos to Viddler, which I do. I could post videos on Vimeo, which I do. But this, if I want to continue to drive views and to drive clicks and to make money, I have to use YouTube. Do you guys really just want me to just kill the account just on principle? Fuck, I'm not going to use YouTube anymore because Google's taken over the earth. Bullshit. I can be made to use their products and use their products and still criticize their products. If you look on my channel, it says, in the tradition of AVGN, I am the Mad Mac nerd. That's what I do, guys. I rant and I rave about stuff. Intel, Google, Microsoft. It's what I do. It's why people watch my videos. It's what people expect. It's me. I'm not going to get on here and patronize people and blow smoke up their ass and say, Oh, Microsoft has done such great things today. Let's talk about the humanitarian efforts Microsoft has done this week. You know, you all don't want to hear that shit, do you? This stuff is entertaining. It's fun to rant and it's fun to listen to people rant. Especially when you agree with them. And it just hankers back to just not using them. I mean, yeah, seriously, I've got two partner accounts on YouTube. You just want me to kill that? I mean, just for, out of principle? But that's what I'm saying. The only way beginners are going to find revenue on the Internet is through Google, by through YouTube and, and all this junk. It's, I just can't iterate enough that you just can't say, stop using them if you're scared they're going to take over. You know, if I stopped using Google, seriously, Zoll, step back from your computer a minute and cut Google out of your computer internet life completely. How, how much could you get done and how exciting hard would it be? You can get stuff done and probably still do the exact same stuff. But how much more of an aggravation and how much more inconvenient and slower would things become if you couldn't use any of Google services or any of Google search or YouTube or Google video or if you just boycott a video uh, Google completely, what kind of internet experience would you have? And that's what I'm getting at. If you boycotted Apple, you would still have the same internet experience today just about as you would tomorrow. But if you bo boycotted Google, no way. You're not going to have the same experience. You're the ones going out there and complaining. You know, you're, you're like a Walmart shopper. You're like a Walmart shopper who complains about Walmart. Yeah, Walmart's terrible. I hate Walmart, blah, blah, blah. And then you're inside the store. Well, yeah, Walmart's got the best prices. I'm not going to go out. And well, damn, for one thing, you need to understand that, of course, people's going to look for cheaper prices in an economy like today. People are only going to pay more expensive prices for products they really believe in and they really believe are worth it. Okay, I always look for the cheapest deals I can get. When I buy my computers, I buy Apple because they've proven themselves to me over time. They're worth the money to me and I know that they're good computers. But when I'm looking for a pack of gum, I'm not worried about it. I'm, not, I'm looking for the cheapest deal. And in my little bitty town, Walmart's the only town, so it, it, the only place to shop almost. It's like it is a monopoly, so you're kind of wrong, Zol. I have to go to Walmart too, and I'm sick of that shit. If I want to go buy me a Stanley wrench or, or a hammer because I want to do some work around the house, 
and it's Sunday, where am I going to go? Walmart, because I have I live in a town of 2,000 people, and hardware store that's locally and privately owned ain't open on Sundays. You know, that's the only place we got to go if we want paint, if we want hardware, we want anything like that. We got to go to Walmart. If we want groceries, we got grocery stores in town. But other than that, we got to go to Walmart. Walmart is the Google of retail stores. They're just, they put one everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's a Walmart. There's a Walmart. And how many little bitty businesses have been put out because Walmart come to town? I've seen so many of these little local businesses get put out of business since this big Walmart, Super Walmart's come to town. You know? And again, it's easy to say, well, if you're so hate, if you're so, you know, you got so much hate towards Walmart, just don't go there and shop with the little man. You know? But the little man's going to have higher prices because they can't price things like Walmart can. They can't, they don't buy things in bulk like Walmart does, so they can't afford to put the prices on them that Walmart does. They don't get the deals that Walmart does. So they get priced out of business. Whether I go to Walmart or whether I go to them, I mean, it makes no difference. That's not the point. The point is the principle. Yeah, I could go to the, the local store and try to support them, but in the long run, it's not going to matter. Walmart has come into town, and they're using their tactics to bully out the little guy. You know, they're not really bullying, it, bullying out the little guy, but if the little guy gets shut down while they're, after they come in, you know, that's just collateral damage. So I disagree. Some people don't have a choice but to use Walmart. I mean, what am I going to do? What if I need toilet paper on a Sunday? Go to Walmart. We don't have no other store. I guess I could run down to a gas station. But then, that not only makes my life harder, it inconveniences me. So, if you want to stop using these companies, it already causes an inconvenience on us. If I want to stop using Google, it's going to cause me a big inconvenience. Maybe take a profit hit. If I want to stop using Walmart, it's going to be a big inconvenience. So... You're telling me if I want to stop using these things, I got to start doing things the hard way. This is what, this is the kind of ecosystem these big monopolies or borderline monopolies have introduced to this kind of thing. It's not as easy to say just don't use their service when they're so deeply entrenched. It's just impossible. You can't get away with not using their services. You're using them and you might not even know it buy from some other store and I'm not even comparing Google to Walmart in that regard I'm I mean cause there's no comparison or as your protest goes it is so I'm not protesting anything I'm just getting out my rant just giving you my opinion on Google I think they're in a dangerous position with as much information as they are now they're getting they've got our Gmail they've got our phone they've got our search they've got our browser they've got our operating system we're trying to get our operating system um, they've got our turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I mean, seriously, Zoll, you can't see what I'm getting at here. Significant and worthless, and it's not going to accomplish anything. Don't tell me my protesting isn't going to accomplish anything. What do you think this video that you're doing here is going to accomplish? It's less significant than my video. Come on, dude, don't tell people these are their videos are, are pointless, because I do this to get out stuff off my chest. I don't do this to make a fucking difference. I know my videos ain't going to make a fucking difference. I don't do that to make a difference. If my videos make a difference, great. But I don't do that. My videos are for entertainment value and to get stuff off my chest. You know, you're like the person that says, Oh, I'm not going to vote for so-and-so. I'm going to make sure he doesn't get elected, by golly. Well, I'm not voting at all. That's how I'm going to stop. No. No, I disagree with you. If there's only two people to vote for, and I disagree with both of them, I'm not going to vote. I want to vote for whoever I want to vote for. I don't want to vote for who they tell me I can vote for. Here's the two. Yeah, you, oh yeah, you, you're free. Free, 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 free. You can vote for whoever you want. But you can only choose from these five people. Fuck that. Give them a list with every single name in the county on it. Let them vote, son. <laughs> That's... You're not doing anything. You're just... And what are you doing right now?
complaining about you're complaining about me complaining you hypocritical motherfucker now that's ownage seriously Zol. that's ownage man you're complaining about me complaining that's ownage nothing essentially you know i can't stand them they're taking over but i'm letting them i'm not letting them if i had my choice i wouldn't let them i'm not letting them shoot far i use their stuff because i just about borderline have to that's all I gotta say. You guys, I just can't believe like, the comments. They're just, they're crap. See, people like Zol just don't get it. They don't, they don't get it at all. They keep saying, well, what if Apple was in this position? What if Apple was in this position? Yeah, what if Apple was in this position? I guarantee you I would feel the same way. I don't care if it's Apple, Google, or Microsoft. Anybody with this information on people, it's dangerous. They don't need to be masked and housed by a private organization. Okay, I know it's a public company or whatever, but you know what I'm saying. It's 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 never in history has an organization not owned by the government housed this kind of information on people and, and, and wielded this kind of control over a medium that people use to communicate with. Okay, I don't, I can't understand how you don't get it. it. You keep saying if Apple was in the other position, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't care because you're an Apple fanboy. So really, let's ask yourself that question. What if Apple was in Google's position? Would you be saying, oh, they're okay. They ain't got too much info. Just don't use them. G Apple's cool. I guarantee you, PC fanboys, like you all, if Apple had the presence online that Google does, you would be complaining about Apple all day long about how they're monopolizing the industry. I guarantee you, you would say Apple is in a dangerous position and has too much information on everybody. You would not be saying, it's cool. It's cool. Apple's fine. Apple's fine. Just don't use Apple stuff. You wouldn't be saying shit like that. If Apple had the control Google has, you would have a problem with it. You just don't have a problem with it because it's not Apple. Google's ripped off Microsoft's flag even. They took the same colors and took the colors and bought it into a ball. I think they've done that on purpose. I have the right to rant and gripe. That's what I do on my channel. And I have the right to feel the way that I feel. And I have a justification to feel the way that I feel. If you feel Apple is monopolizing the music industry, then there's no way you can't feel Google is monopolizing the internet. There's no way. There's no way you can feel Apple is monopolizing their hardware and OS X and not feel Google is monopolizing the internet. There's no way that your, your views are conflicting with each other. And uh, this was just a, just a quick response to his little two-minute video. He's got another video posted that's like ten minutes long that I'm going to try and do a response to here next day or two. So y'all can be looking for that too. So we'll see you on the flip side, OS 10.